Hi folks, this is Harley Tuck with MI Squared. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at the data entry form situation in OpenEMR. OpenEMR comes with something like 70 different forms to record a huge variety of patient data into the patient's record. Ten of them are activated by default. Nine more are readily available in the standard OpenEMR install, and the rest of them, the community contributed forms I'll get to in a bit. The first thing to know about forms is virtually all are accessed through an active patient encounter, and I just happen to have one right here. Okay, here's the encounter, and you notice this menu along the top. This is where the forms are, and you'll notice, or remember this, that these are the, the encounter form categories. These are the administrative forms, these are clinical forms. Uh, to use them you would you know click on one of these and, and select the stuff you wanted to record and hit save or not. Go find a different form. Okay. Okay now let's clear this patient out and then go find out how to add new forms. You need to be an uh, OpenEMR administrator to do this, by the way. Uh, in the left navigation menu, click on Administration, go down to Other, and click on Forms with the second item down. Now uh, here, let's get rid of the lower pane so we can see what we're doing here. Okay, in the Forms Administration screen, this top list here is what comes by default activated. And you'll notice these categories those are the categories that are on the encounter summary, on the, men the menu items on the encounter summary. These bottom forms are the ones that are available to be activated if you want to use them. And it's easy to activate them. You pick the one you want to do, say physical exam, click on register, that pops it up to the top, and you can see it easiest by looking at the blank category thing here. Okay. First thing to do, these are not displayed in workflow order. The first thing you have to do is click to install the database and then click the disabled, which converts it to enabled, so it enables the form. And now here you put it in, or you enter the category, the menu item that you want it to go into. If you put in something that doesn't exist there, they'll make it. So let's just go with PE for the fun of it. And then you click Update. Okay, let's go take a look at what we've got. Let's bring back the bottom panel and then find a patient with an active... Uh, we'll just go back to Georgia and take a look at her encounter. Now you notice it made the new uh, menu category and there's the exam. can go through all this stuff, enter the items, enter your assessments and everything, and hit save at the bottom. Okay, and again, go back to any of the other forms and, and work like that. Now back to the forms administration screen here. If you decide you don't want to use a form, you can Let's see, where's that physical exam? Just click on enable to disable it and then hit update. Okay, because it's 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 a hassle to go through and uninstall from the database and, and take care of the PHP stuff. So just disable it, hit update, and now let's refresh that encounter and we'll take a look at the menu. You notice it's gone. Okay. Of course you can re-enable it, hit update if you want it back again. The data that was collected from that form will stay in the database, so it's it'll still be accessible if you bring it back. Okay, now those 50-some other forms uh, are included in the code base of a standard OpenEMR release, but they're kept out of the way inside the file system. If you want to look at screenshots of them or to install them, the OpenEMR wiki has instructions which have right here. It works best if you just get to the OpenEMR wiki and then type in the search dialog here, contributed, 
it'll bring you back the contributed forms page okay and at the top this elements of a new form this is for developers who are contributing their new form and this is the instructions on how to install these contributed forms and also how to remove the contributed forms now because they're stored down in the file system they need to be actually installed which is not extremely high-level computer science, but it does require access to the file system such as your IT guru, your IT support would have. Okay, so then down here is the list of forms that are available, and again, there are a few, 60 of them. Oh, this is the total list of all forms. Okay, forms followed by an asterisk, like for example, this fee sheet, they come pre-activated in OpenEMR. Forms that are punctuated here with the camel or with the exclamation mark or bang, those are the ones in the bottom part of the forms administration screen, and they can be installed easily. And the rest of them, like the body composition or whatever, um, those are the contributed forms that can be installed by following the instructions at the top of this page. Now I gotta say, my very favorite contributed form is the cricket injury assessment. I just never knew that there was so much involved in cricket injuries here. But anyway. Okay, so this has been a quick walkthrough of the forms available in OpenEMR and how you can activate or deactivate them and get more if you want them. So this is Harley Tuck of MI Squared. Catch you next time.